Is there really intelligent life out there? As a kid, I didn't fear monsters or the boogeyman or anything like that. My greatest fear was an alien being appearing in my room in the middle of the night. From there, I wasn't sure if I was going to be abducted, probed, or even have my mind altered in some way. I think it was the combination of not knowing what they wanted and not knowing what they were capable of that scared me. All I knew was that an advanced race of beings would be too far ahead of us technologically to be stopped. Luckily, as I got older, the fear turned into a radical fascination, bordering obsession. I rented countless books from the library about aliens, their technologies, and alleged abductions and encounters. Shows like The X-Files, Unsolved Mysteries, and movies like Fire in the Sky and Men in Black fueled the fascination. Maybe it was partially because it was such an elusive, unorthodox, and unknowledgeable subject that I found myself drawn to it. Because these days, there are tons of esoteric topics that I can't seem to get enough of. There always seems to be more to learn when the information is being guarded or kept from the public. With the ease of access to information online, I find there's a lot more to it. I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade. Um, and I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 10, 20 to 30 years. We, we know where to look. We know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology. Um, and we're on a path to implementing it. We know now we live in an ever-expanding universe. We know that there are billions of stars and planets literally out there, and the universe is getting bigger. We know from our fancy telescopes that just in the last two years, more than 20 planets have been identified outside our solar system that seem to be far enough away from their suns and dense enough that they might be able to support some form of life. So it makes it increasingly less likely that we're alone. Oh, you're trying to give me a hint that there are aliens. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you I don't know. Oh. But if we were visited someday, I wouldn't be surprised. I just hope that uh, it's not like Independence Day. Yeah, right. Movie, that it's, a, you know, a, a conflict. First and foremost, there's a plethora of misinformation. And second, Plenty of people love these topics. There's an abundance of false information, so much more so than the legitimate information. One really has to enter the field with a healthy supply of skepticism, or you can easily fall victim. There's a famous Carl Sagan quote, Keeping an open mind is a virtue, but not so open your brain falls out. I find it's applicable to many areas of life, but especially these subjects. Anyway, on to the topic at hand. Is there truly intelligent life out there? One can simply look at the sheer vastness of the universe and apply Drake's equation to find the odds of finding life elsewhere. The results depend on the variables you use, but it's a safe bet that the universe contains more than just us. From here, we need to define intelligent life. Yes, we're conscious beings capable of comprehending the fact that we're conscious beings, but are we really intelligent? It could be argued that we're not, but for the sake of this video, let's say we are. It would be an absolute shame if we were the most intelligent beings in the known universe. I'm not going to go into the aspect of multidimensional beings as that's a topic for another day, but there lies a very realistic and plausible possibility there. Instead, I'm going to be focusing on the likelihood of being verifiable, tangible beings in the visible spectrum of the universe. One doesn't have to look too far to find evidence of alien beings. It's far less common to hear about sightings or experience with actual alien beings. Typically, when one hears that term, we think about the race commonly referred as the greys. But this would be pretty presumptuous to assume that there's only one specific race of extraterrestrial beings. We live in a time where many of us own a superior technology than that with which we were supposed to have traveled to the moon with. High definition cameras can be found everywhere 
and between all the various social media websites, the ability to share images and video with the world has never been easier. The problem is, the ability to manufacture hoax media has also never been easier. For every quote-unquote real media file, there are hundreds if not thousands of hoaxed images, so filtering through the fakes can be a daunting challenge. And this is not even touching upon the idea that an elite group of enlightened individuals aims to keep us in the dark about an alien presence. We live in a time when interest in alien beings seems to be at an all-time high, but we don't see much more than a strong increase in media projects about the alien presence. There does exist a handful of groups with the intention of discovering and discussing the existence of extraterrestrials, included, but not limited to, MUFON, SETI, the Disclosure Project, APEN, and more. But, for various reasons, none of these projects seem to gain any serious media coverage and exposure. Though there has been a number of surveys and polls taken about belief in aliens, there's a lack of enough mainstream interest to warrant a large-scale initiative and investigation into the matter. I think the general consensus would be, even if the investigation did take place, what would it accomplish? The long and short of it is this, until the day we need to learn more, we probably won't. We, as humanity, have far too much on our plate to consider such things outside our own worldly prison. We need only look to Reagan's speech on an alien threat to comprehend the impact it would have upon us. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Well, now we have friendly Maybe the only way to unite this incredibly divided world of ours. <laughs> They're out there. We better think of how all the differences among people on Earth would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. That's the whole theory of independence. You're right. You're Everybody right. Everybody gets together and makes nice and... You know, you and Bill O'Reilly would be hiding in a bunker together. Yeah. Oh, Bill O'Reilly, he'd be every mean thing he ever said about me. That's the thing about, I don't care. Look at that. An alien interference would be about the only thing to wake us up to the topic and encourage us to delve deeper into the subject. Until then, it will most likely remain a growing topic of intrigue for many of us. And unfortunately, the testimonials can only be seen as hearsay and must be taken with a grain of salt. We may never know the truth of the matter, but I do believe we will one day. And if that's the case, we're rapidly approaching it. We are incredibly lucky to live in a time with such advanced technology and the capability of instantly sharing and communicating. When such an event as full-scale disclosure does occur, I would hope people would open their eyes instead of keeping their heads in the sand. Only time will tell and I'm anxious for the day we do learn more. But until then, keep your eyes to the skies.